you are right that is what we'll be talking about and that is a dust devil so welcome guys welcome 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 to yet another dhamakidhar farratidhar and mazidhar session by vedant young wonders with me your host your those and a proud master teacher from vedant pritesh joshi on dust devils what exactly is a dust devil and do you know that a dust devil once upon a time lifted three kids who were playing in an inflatable house 10 feet above the ground and threw them somewhere far away and in lebanon in the year 2003 it took away the roof of a person's house and it also killed him can dust devil be so harmful and what if i tell you that sometime in your life all of you including me have seen a tiny chotu motu dust devil in your life what if i tell you that all this is true and yes it is true but let us decode the facts the mysteries and the myth behind a dust devil today in this session so welcome to this session once again and i've got a beautiful thing to say to all of you and that thing that i want to tell all of you is that information about me to hai this is a very very wonderful thing that you can follow now me on instagram at pritesh_vedantu that's my insta handle and i'd also asked all of you on friday that um, what is your what are your plans for the weekend was it you know watching a movie with the family was it you know spending time with the family was it going out for a picnic was it studying or was it something else i hope you guys have answered my question and i am going through all the responses some of them are really very very cute and wonderful but if you haven't guys if you want to stay updated with whatever i am doing you can follow me on instagram at pritesh_vedantu and there's some information about what all i've done and you know life mein kya kuch kiya hai and kya kya padhai ki hai uske bare mein information is right here on the screen so you are in the perfect hands don't worry about it and this is a beautiful beautiful quote on sunday and this quote says that sunday is the perfect day to refuel your soul and to be grateful for each and every one of your blessings i would say that sunday is not the only day and there is no day particularly to be grateful to uh, whatever uh, you know you have achieved in life and i put a very beautiful reminder in my mobile phone every day at sharp 6:42 in the evening it beeps and it just you know flashes on my screen that it's time to be grateful towards your blessings and every single day i get a reminder and it has become a habit in me and i've also get this i've also got this beautiful canvas painting on my left which says abundance and gratitude abundance and gratitude are two most important words in this universe which define you which define your life which defines this universe abundance of everything abundance of all the good things abundance of health wealth name fame success love happiness bliss abundance of travel abundance of joy abundance of exploration abundance of good experiences and gratitude gratitude towards every 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 atom of this universe whether it is a microorganism in water or whether it is an elephant in africa or whether it is a kangaroo in australia or whether it is a polar bear in the antarctic or whether it is your next person whom you are with right now gratitude for everything gratitude for the ability to breathe gratitude for the ability to see gratitude for the ability to understand gratitude for life right so have gratitude towards each and every thing in your life at every single moment you don't just need to be saying you know be saying thank you thank you thank you thank you no no it should come from within thank you my lord thank you for my existence on this planet right and find your purpose and go and achieve it my choices and tons of blessings with each and every one of you and with that we also would like to tell all of you that please 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 do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up guys your likes your subscribes your comments are my leader board so just like you know you enjoy watching the leader board on menti do give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to the channel it's absolutely free right here you can see the logo of the channel that is a subscribe button so subscribe to the channel and in the subsequent sundays i'm coming with some amazing topics for all of you and also i'm starting a beautiful beautiful series called तो दे रियो सो जनो आइए आप और हम मिलकर खेलते हैं टन 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 आई एम नॉट टेलिंग यू द डिटेल्स वेट एंड वॉच राइट 
So it's coming up. So you need to stay tuned. For that, you need to subscribe and you also need to like the video, right? So let's talk about dust devils. So a dust devil is a strong, well-formed and relatively short-lived whirlwind ranging from small, it can be half a meter wide and a few meters tall to large, that can be more than 10 meters wide to more than a kilometer tall. But a dust wind is not a tornado. It's not a storm. It's not a cyclone. It's a dust storm. It's a very, very small whirlwind. It's a small pressure difference created physical phenomena, which generally does not cause much harm. But yes, at times it can be harmful. And now let us explore that. How are they created? So they are most likely to develop when skies are clear and the winds are light. In these conditions, the temperature of the ground becomes warm and so does the air above the surface. This creates an unstable environment which causes the air to rise. So basically, it creates a low pressure. It creates a low pressure between the ground and the sky. A low pressure belt gets created. So the winds rise up and whenever the pressure is low, the winds rise. And because of the temperature difference above and near the ground, because of the temperature difference, there are no clouds to have a thunderstorm. The sky is clear, but there is a temperature difference which creates a pressure difference and that makes the winds to rise and create a small dust storm. It can last for a few seconds or minutes. It is not very, very large and warm air feeds the circulation. The warm air near the surface of the ground feeds the circulation. Right? Then, the biggest dust devils can climb as high as 3000 feet, though unlike tornadoes and land spouts, dust devils are not associated with thunderstorms. Means there is no rain, there is no water in a dust devil. But yes, if unfortunately or I can say fortunate also because dust devils are not very harmful always. So if you come across a dust devil, you should really, uh, you know, observe the physical phenomena from a distance. Obviously, you should not go near to it. And I very, very vividly remember uh, when I was a kid, I was, uh, this happened with me in the city of Nasik, that is my hometown. I was sitting behind my mother on the bike and I saw that some broken leaves and a plastic bag, I clearly remember it was a white polythene bag. It was just going round and round and round in air and I could see the plastic bag is rising, rising, rising in a circular motion and then after some time it just started coming down in this way. So you know normally how a plastic bag falls in air but it was rising in a circular motion and now when I studied about dust devil I recollected that that was a dust devil which I saw. So dust devils can occur anywhere at any given point of time mostly in the summer season and uh, when the sky is clear and the wind is light. Now, apart from that, it's also very important to know that how long can a dust devil last? So it can last just for a few minutes before it just, you know, it just dissipates in the air. Although in deserts, typically of northern Arizona, dust devils can reach heights of several thousand feet and last on the order of an hour or more. Wind speed can go up to 60 meter per hour or greater, right? And uh, I would be really, really happy to tell you that you know, every session we are talking about Mars these days. Last week we spoke about Boris Kader, boy from Mars. Do you know, dust devils are even created on Mars. And there are so many satellite images and satellite videos out there which show dust devils on Mars. So big dust devils are even created on Mars because anywhere where there is a barren ground, where there is sunlight, where there are dust particles, a dust devil can get created again due to the pressure and the temperature difference. Now, can a dust devil lift you up? Not necessarily, not necessarily, but it can, yes, it can definitely make you fall if it is very, very strong. The primary vertical motion is upward. Dust devils are usually harmless, but on rare occasions, they can grow large enough to pose a threat to both people and property. And that is why I told you in the year 2003, dust devil uh, happened to lift an inflatable house. You know that jumping house where kids play and you just need to jump on it and play around and all. I remember we, you know, I used to be so happy to play in it uh, and the ticket used to be 5 rupees and now it has gone to 50 rupees. So when I was a kid, it was just 5 rupees and you get to play for 15-20 minutes and now it has gone to 50 rupees in malls and all. You see those inflated houses where kids can jump and play. So I clearly remember that, um, uh, you know, so there, were, there used to be these houses. Now coming back to a, uh, a 
incident where a dust devil lifted an inflated house. So there were three kids playing in an inflated house and this happened somewhere in the west and the entire house got lifted and it threw the house few feet away from where it was and it lifted it to 10 feet from the ground. 10 feet from the ground the dust devil was able to lift the inflated house. So that is what happened and uh, mostly like 99% times dust devils are not harmful but at times they can get harmful. Now in Australia a dust devil is known as Willy Willy. So there are different names to dust devils. It is called as a Willy Willy in Australia. That's a very funny name because dust devils are usually harmless. And in Ireland the dust devils are known as She, Gothi or Fairy Wind. So in Ireland you call them as She, Gothi or Fairy Wind. And in Australia you call them as Willy Willy. So with that we come to the end of this small wonderful very very informative session. So I've decided that every Sunday I will come with such amazing and informative sessions for all of you. So if you're enjoying the sessions, if you learn something new and something intriguing, do let me know in the comment section and also give me ideas for my next Sunday session. I'm all open for suggestions. And guys, do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. So give this video a big fat thumbs up and do not forget to smile, subscribe and sanitize. It's been a long while I said that, right? So like. Subscribe, smile, sanitize, comment and share this video with everyone. So it's not necessary that you share it only with your school friends and the school groups. You can share it with everyone because it's a wonderful phenomena that you study today about dust devils. So be careful when next time you see a dust devil but definitely observe it. And until we meet next tomorrow sharp at 9pm. Take care of yourself, stay healthy, stay happy, stay blessed. Have a great time. God bless all of you. Enjoy your Sunday. Bye-bye.